welcome to my channel. Today I am following this sketch for the Wild Hair Kits and I am making a scrapbook layout using these two photos. And I know that in the sketch there was only one, well, it was just like a space where the photo would be, but um, for what for the pictures that I had ready for me to scrapbook, there was a page that um, had two pictures. So anyway, that's just what I'm doing today and how I am interpreting the sketch. That's the thing I love about sketches is that you can interpret it in whatever way you want and kind of cater it to your needs. It's just a really great jumping off point. So if you want to use a sketch, you can take a picture of it or whatever, screenshot it, um, and you are welcome to use that sketch. I believe Kira made that one. Um, so you're welcome to use that if you need a little bit of inspiration. For me, a sketch is a great way to, uh, a great jumping off point for me because I don't, honestly, I don't really know how to start a layout. Um, I usually have to scrap lift, use a sketch or, or I just do my go-to of like layering some paper or some, yeah, papers and embellishments together if I have a lot to work with, um, but yeah, so with all that being said, you're welcome to use the sketch if you'd like, and um, hopefully it will inspire you as well. Or you can um, take the page that I made at the end and scrap lift it if you'd like. Um, yeah, any, any way you can find inspiration, I think. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some papers from my kit, from my wild hair kit this month, and I'm going to layer them on the bottom and... Not well, not layer them, put them on top of each other, kind of side by side or whatever. Um, and I'm going to distress the edges, and so that is how I'm interpreting the sketch in that aspect. And the colors in this kit are really uh, soft and lovely. And uh, if you don't know what the Wild Hair Kits is, it is a um, it's you fill it a style profile. And you um, pick the kind of kit you want, a deluxe or petite, and then the curator will build you a kit based on what projects you're working on, the projects you suggested, and your style profile. So I would highly recommend um, getting a kit because it's so fun. Every you, every. <coughs> I'm sorry. Excuse me. Every kit is unique and. Um, You'll never get the same kit as anyone else. There's no commitment or anything. It's not monthly. It's just you uh, get a kit whenever you're in need of some new supplies and would like a, a new kit. And it's so fun. It's getting like a birthday present at your door or something. Like it's so exciting because you have no idea what's in the kit and you don't know what you're getting. Um, the great thing is you can request certain items. Um, I've definitely found before that I have gotten items that have like sold out if there's a new collection and it's like all sold out in stores um, and I've requested it in a kit and then I got it. So that's always very exciting when, uh, when that happens. So I have this little distressor tool that I used on all the edges and I'm sorry, just excuse my nasty glue gun. I thought a glue gun would be a fun way to attach everything on the page because it gives it just an itty bitty bit of dimension, um, but I just put it in the middle so that the edges could kind of go whichever way they want to, and um, yeah, other if I had a sewing machine, I would totally be using my sewing machine, but I don't have one, so um, I think this will do just fine. Um, the pictures that I am scrapbooking today are from my trip to Hawaii. I'm still working through this album. Um, yeah, I haven't, it, it's been hard to scrapbook photos from these past couple months just because of what they have been like this year has been, been a challenge, uh, with multiple deaths in my family. It's just been so bizarre and horrible. So it's kind of hard to scrapbook during those times, but I feel like now I am starting to um, find a lot of like happy moments and for Mother's Day, um, I don't know if this video is up yet, probably not. For Mother's Day, I made my mom a little scrapbook album of when her and I went to 
Disney just after my dad died. We'd like took off <laughs> and just left a couple weeks, like two weeks after he died or something. And, and, uh, we went to Florida. So for Mother's Day, I made her a little album that you'll see, uh, the process video. And, um, yeah. So when I did that, I was like, okay, yeah, I, I think I'm ready to scrapbook these memories that, uh, or these things that have been happening in the past couple months. Um, yeah, just because I, it's hard to look back because I can see like the pain and feel the pain and that's hard. But, um, yeah, I think I'm ready to get scrapbooking these photos. My husband and I are planning a trip to go to Europe, um, in September. So I want to make sure I'm at least like kind of caught up because whenever I go on a trip, obviously I take lots of photos and I don't want to be super behind because I haven't scrapbooked everyday photos in a long time. Like I've just slowly been working through our Hawaii photos and we got back from Hawaii just before my dad died. So anyway, um, yeah, so I don't know what my point exactly was, but I just, I, I've never been so behind on scrapbooking photos. Um, but I'll get there and I'm being patient with myself and gentle with myself. And, uh, I think that's kind of most important right now. Um, yeah, so now I'm just embellishing, making little clusters. I have this fantastic ephemera pack from Heidi Swap that I love and yeah, just putting everything together. I'm using a stapler for a lot of things because a lot of them are either acetate or vellum, so they're a little bit more challenging, but um, I think it looks pretty cute and I like the look of staples, so yeah. Um, what else do I have to say? Yes, yeah, so this is from our trip to Hawaii. I still have a bunch of like um, pocket pages to do for this trip and a couple more layouts and then I'll be done and I can actually like show people our trip and tell people about it because we, <laughs> we didn't really tell anyone about it because my dad died like really quickly after we got back. So we haven't really told anyone about our trip and that was back in January. So I would, I think it would be really refreshing and maybe even healing to have this scrapbook and, um, yeah, tell people about our trip because there are a lot of memories that I've forgotten already just because it's been after that, the couple of weeks after that were pretty traumatizing, um, just with everything our family went through. Um, so I really forgot about a lot of memories. I know I've mentioned this in other videos, but uh, it's a pretty crazy thing. I know there are other people in the world and crafting community that are going through similar things right now. So kind of makes you feel like you're not alone sometimes. Um, yeah. So it can be healing to do crafting, but at the same time, it can be a little bit hard because when you're scrapbooking, you are scrapbooking pictures and memories from a certain time and you know what you were feeling in that moment or moments after or whatever. And uh, sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad. And you don't always want to scrapbook the bad times because that doesn't always make you happy. And some people do like to do that. And some people find that healing. Um, I don't know if I would or at least not anytime soon. But um, anyway, sorry, I've been rambling. <laughs> I know some people can relate to have been through similar things, but um, I think I am almost finished here and I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. And thanks so much for listening and watching. Have a good day. Bye.